Hello, I'm Anne Mwawodo. Here's your Channel's TV morning news update for April the 1st, 2020. The COVID-19 index case in Akita State has been discharged from the isolation center by the Nigeria Center for Disease Control and the Akita State Health Ministry. The Commissioner for Health, Mrs. Mojisola Yahya Kolade, confirmed that the 38-year-old man who came in contact with an American tourist tested negative after some weeks of treatment. She, however, advises the patient to be in self-isolation for another seven days. In Kano, Governor Abdullahi Ganduje personally inspected the enforcement of the interstate travel ban in the entry and exit points of the state as a precaution against the spread of COVID-19. The governor's convoy intercepted several trucks loaded with people returning to Kano from Lagos and Abuja, immediately ordered their arrest and persecution. And in the Northeast, the United Nations says it is taking emergency preparedness and response measures to mitigate the spread of the coronavirus to the most vulnerable crisis affected people in Borono, Adamoa and Yube State. UN Humanitarian Coordinator in Nigeria, Mr. Edward Callan, says the measures will help address the immediate humanitarian consequences of the coronavirus pandemic should it spread to the region. And on the international scene, the death toll from coronavirus in the United States has surpassed those who report in China, where the pandemic began in December last year. According to a toll published by Johns Hopkins University, there have been 3,415 deaths from 175,067 confirmed cases in the United States, which is more than the 3,309 deaths reported officially in China. And in sports, former Masil president Pep Diouf has died after contracting coronavirus. He is aged 68 and led the French club between 2005 to 2009 and helped build the team that lifted the League One title in 2010. He was set to leave Senegal for France yesterday to be treated for COVID-19 in Nice, but the plane never left Dakar. And that's the news update. Don't forget to join us later for the evening recap. I'm Anne Mwawadu. Thank you for watching.